Ladies and gentlemen, this is Vangelis. We're at the CP3P Captured Prey third party, and we're taking a look at Talon. Now, I've said many times, uh, especially this Mastermind stuff, this is all prototype stuff, mostly to see how the parts fit together. And it's been through some rough times. Talon's been through the roughest time as uh, he suffered a break in transit. Now, he's got these wings, and they are big, beautiful wings. Lots of pieces on the move. The problem is that... Uh, this guy took a real nasty spill while he was being transported, and, uh, the wings do have quite a, a cool range of posability. And there's, there's some really cool sculpting, actually, on the inside of here. But, I don't want to mess with the wings too much, because he, he took a bit of a spill, and one of them, uh, got busted off in transit. Now, this is not a risk on your talon that you're getting, unless you're going to throw your talon off of a rooftop or something. Because, as I said, this guy, this was a this was a, an in-transit accident. People who move luggage when you fly are not super careful, uh, and stuff like this can just happen. So, don't let this say anything to you about the quality of the toy, because I am quite certain that this will not be a problem when it comes out. Uh, he's also got a combiner peg over over yonder, and I'm, I think that you gotta, you gotta get this wing pack out of the way. So, uh, I just want to clear that up right away. Um, he does have a butt flap, and uh, let's take a look at how he poses. He's, he's holding his gun in a really cool pose. I kind of don't want to mess with this, because it, it looks really great. Um, I just can't get over how cool these wings look. Like, look how huge that is compared to the rest of his body. Um, his head is on a pretty good ball joint. That was a big question I had. Uh, like how posable this head would be given that it turns into a bird's head as well. Uh, the bird's head is visible here. Uh, I believe that, yeah, this part folds up uh, so that this forms into a full-on uh, avian cranium. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And uh, as for a better look at his head sculpt, let's do a quick zoom in here. Get some light on that face. And uh, let's see how the rest of him poses. His arms, uh, you know, clearly they move forward and backward at the shoulder. Um, there's an outwards motion here. And a uh, double jointed elbow. And uh, look, not just a wrist swivel, but a wrist hinge as well, probably due to the transformation. Uh, like I said, I don't want to mess with this pose too much because it looks really good. Uh, he's got a waist joint, quite clearly evidenced here. This guy is one of the Feral Rex arms, so. I'm not sure how much of his inner waist workings we're seeing that are related to the robot or to other parts of him. He's got uh, universal joints at the hips and a deep uh, but thick knee joint and some full-on ball-jointed, tiltable, forward-backable, side-to-side-to-side-able with a toe joint, uh, ankles and feet. Uh, he's got a couple swords here and this cool gun. This gun looks like it folds up uh, in some manner, but... Uh, Talon here, he, it looks like he took a pretty bad spill in transit, so I don't want to mess with, around with him too much more. Uh, I'm going to move on to uh, the final member of the of the bunch, uh, their version of Rampage, which was like Felis something something. Uh, on Talon, what else can we see? The, here's a Talon. I guess this is from the bird feet. Uh, yeah, these are the bird feet. So that's where they are on his leg. I'm not sure how they end up there, but they do a cool inverse flip. Um... Yeah, I think we should just move on from here. So, uh, we'll take a look at the last member of Feral Rex's, uh, fearsome, uh, quintet, uh, here on the CP3P, and then, uh, see what else we can get our hands on before, you know, I get thrown out of here for being here for, like, multiple hours. So, I will see you guys again in a bit with some more Feral Rexin.